Hey Guardians, I just want to let everyone know that I do have both a Twitch and a Twitter, and I'm very active on both. Feel free to come give me a follow on both, links in the description. What the f fuck did I just see? In continuing our reviews of the Prophecy Weapons, we're talking about Sudden Death next. We're gonna talk rolls and go in-depth with range numbers as well, so you'll know exactly what to look for with this shotgun. Now, Sudden Death is a void aggressive frame shotgun, and it's actually a pretty damn solid one. Keep in mind, this is a mostly PvP-focused review. We'll touch on PvE a little bit, but I think generally, most folks using shotguns in PvE are rocking Wastelander or Sword breaker on Strand Titan, but it's nice to have another decent aggressive frame option in the energy slot that isn't Time Lost Found Verdict, given that Mindbender's Ambition got absolutely massacred, Last Man Standing is an awful shotgun for PvP, and we really just don't have many decent energy aggressive frame shotguns currently available in the game in the first place. So, getting into Sudden Death, here's the perk pool, and it's a very, very solid one. Now for your barrel, personally I always lean towards Barrel Shroud or Corkscrew Rifling since I mainly use shotguns defensively and so I mostly value handling. But if you're aping in, then you may want to go small bore, rifle barrel, or potentially smooth bore, though smooth bore does widen your pellet spread, so keep that in mind. Now for your magazine, this shotgun does struggle with range quite a bit, so I would highly recommend going for accurized rounds pretty much over anything else. Now, take a look at our third and fourth columns. In the third column, Elemental Capacitor, Threat Detector, Discord, Envious Assassin, Slide Shot, and Repulsor Brace. In the fourth column, Barrel Constrictor, Cascade Point, Destabilizing Rounds, 1-2 Punch, Opening Shot, and Trench Barrel. It's a very solid perk pool. The combos you'll want to go with will depend on your purpose for the shotgun. Now, for defensive use, meaning you keep the shotgun in your back pocket until you need it in an emergency or for a fast cleanup, Threat Detector, unless you're on Arc, in which case then go with Elemental Capacitor. Threat Detector will boost your handling when any enemies are nearby you. This perk is rather inconsistent. Sometimes it procs and that shotgun comes out so fast it even surprises me. Other times I can have someone right next to me, and it comes out so slowly it feels like I'm dragging it through a swamp with 50 pound weights attached to it. However, in my experience, Enhanced Threat Detector does tend to be more consistent and Bungie stated in the most recent twid that we'll soon be able to enhance perks on a number of random rolled weapons, including the Prophecy Guns, so keep that in mind. That being said, until then, if you're running Threat Detector, I would highly recommend pairing this with Warlock with Ophids and potentially some handling mods just to ease that inconsistency. When Threat Detector is able to be enhanced on Sudden Death, that may change but for now, that's my recommendation. If you're on a different class, I'd still combine it with something that will increase your handling, such as speed loader slacks on Hunter. Now, for those of my Arc mains out there, Elemental Capacitor is for sure the way to go. On Arc, it will boost your handling by 50. Couple this with a couple of handling mods, and you're likely good to go. In the fourth column, opening shot without question. Shotguns really struggle with consistency a lot. Even when a target is well within the lethal distance of a shotgun, often it just will not get the one-shot kill. Opening shot doesn't fix this entirely, but it does help massively. There is a noticeable difference in how a shotgun with opening shot feels versus how one without it feels. And while the range boost from opening shot is certainly nice on a shotgun, it's mostly helpful because because the aim assist boost from opening shot will help a few more of those pellets land, and this can mean the difference between life and death. So, for defensive use, my go-to role would be Barrel Shroud with Corkscrew Rifling in second place, Accurized Rounds, Threat Detector, or Elemental Capacitor if you're on an Arc class and Opening Shot. For your Masterwork, Handling, or Range, either one is fine, that's mostly just your preference. Now, if you go with Handling, the shotgun's effective range is 4.5 meters, that goes up to 5.2 meters when Opening Shot procs. On the flip side, if you go with range, it will take you up to 4.7 meters without opening shot, and 5.5 with opening shot. So really, whatever you want here is pretty much up to you, it just depends on what you value more, a little extra range or a little extra handling. Now, if you're a brain dead shotgun ape, then smooth bore, rifled barrel, or small bore, still accurized rounds, slide shot and opening shot, and a range masterwork.
With smoothbore, your range goes up to 6 meters when opening shot is procced, and 5.2 meters when it isn't. With rifled barrel, 6 meters with opening shot procced, 5.3 meters without. And with smoothbore, 6.2 meters with opening shot, and 5.5 and without. If we take slide shot into account, then in the order of the barrels we just listed, your range is 6.5 meters with opening shot and slide shot, and 5.86 without opening shot. Then 6.6 .6 meters with slide and opening, 5.9 without. Then 6.7 meters with, and 6 meters without. You'll just have to decide what matters to you more. Rifled barrel and smooth bore offer more range than small bore, but rifled barrel absolutely destroys your handling, taking it down to only 9 and smoothbore greatly increases your pellet spread. So, in this instance, you'll just have to decide what you are and are not willing to sacrifice. Quick side note, yes this shotgun does have barrel constrictor, but constrictor is a kill perk, and if the shotgun struggles to even get that first kill and you have to clean up with a primary or a melee, then it's pointless. Which is why I'd still, by far, take opening shot over barrel constrictor. Now, as far as performance goes, I mostly use this role on Void Lock, and I used Ophids with a couple of Void handling mods, and I paired it with Thorn, a very high handling hand cannon. If you pair it with a lower handling primary, you'll need to take that into account and adjust your mods accordingly. That being said, it did perform very well, better than I expected honestly. It still doesn't have the one-shot kill potential of Time Lost Found Verdict, but it does have the advantage of having far, far superior handling options given that surplus is an absolutely awful perk for shotgun swapping. For those of you who may not be aware, surplus will boost your handling massively depending on how many abilities you have up. And with abilities being as potent as they are, you have to be ready to use them at any time, so you're kind of screwing yourself by using a perk that requires you to not use your abilities to gain its full benefits. And of course, surplus is even slightly worse now with the reduced ability uptime, so keep that in mind as well. Quite frankly, it's time for quick draw to come back on aggressive frames, not slick draw, quick draw. Quick draw was never particularly oppressive on them anyway, though there is a discussion to be had about slide shot there, and it certainly wouldn't be oppressive now given that quick draw is a ghost of its former self. But for that reason, based on how I use shotguns, I do prefer sudden death to time loss found verdict. But if you're a shotgun ape, then yeah, no question, time loss found verdict is superior. Now honestly, this shotgun did actually really surprise me in how good it felt, and the amount of times it did pull off the one shot surprised me as well. And this is where I'm going to touch on the origin trait, because I think that's the big thing making the difference here. With the crossing over origin trait, you have bonus range and handling for the top half of the mag, and bonus damage on the bottom half. Now, in the new sandbox, most people will probably be on the bottom half of the mag most of the time, and that bonus damage does seem to make something of a difference, but if you save your ammo up and you're in that top half of the mag, well, that range and handling bonus is extremely noticeable and it's even more potent. The origin trait for these prophecy weapons is absolutely insane, and it's a huge part of why so many of them feel as good as they do. So, keep that in mind if you're debating farming them, they have one of the best if not the best origin trait for PvP in the entire game, one could even argue that it's a broken origin trait. Now, as a quick side note, I did also get a couple of elemental capacitor rolls, however the full rolls on them were just not particularly good, mostly due to missing opening shot. But the handling boost from Ark was still very noticeable, and with the right roll, elemental capacitor might just be the play. Now, very briefly touching on PvE, there are options here to be sure, Envious Assassin, Discord and Repulsor Brace in the third column, and Cascade Point, One-Two Punch, Destabilizing Rounds, and Trench Barrel in the fourth. Now, the question you really have to ask yourself though, is are you even using a shotgun in PvE without being on Strand Titan? And if so, why would you pick any of the potential roles here when you could craft Wastelander with Lead from Gold and One-Two Punch, or Swordbreaker with Pugilist and One-Two Punch. 
You probably wouldn't. Quite frankly, outside of Strand Titans, I never see anyone using shotguns in PvE. They just don't serve any real purpose. Like, be real with yourself. Are you really going to be ad clearing with your destabilizing rounds or cascade point shotgun, especially in higher end content like GMs or Master Raids? Of course not. It would be suicide simply because shotguns do not have the range for that. Obviously, there are some options that should be good, such as Discord or Envious Assassin with Cascade Point or Destabilizing Rounds, but until shotguns are worth using in PvE by themselves, and I am talking pellet shotguns specifically here, you can pretty well disregard this weapon for PvE completely. So, final notes on the shotgun, it can be ignored in PvE for the time being, but it's legitimately a very, very good PvP option. It's well worth the grind, particularly if you're a newer player, and I would highly recommend taking one for a spin. That is all for me today, Guardians. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or informative, then do me a favor and leave me a comment with your thoughts on this weapon. Don't forget to leave me a like, and as always, hit that subscribe button with the bell icon and share this video with anyone you think might find it informative or entertaining. That's the best way to support the channel, and it really does help me out. As a quick side note, the hand cannon build video is pretty well on indefinite hold. The current sandbox just isn't very good for aggressive play with 1. 40s, 180s might as well not even exist at this point, and while 120s can be used aggressively, they're better suited for just wall humping in a warlock rift. But with everyone currently holding hands like crazy and generally just playing very passively, the video is on hold until I can either find a way to make these builds work to the same potency they had before, or the sandbox is adjusted. It's unfortunate that Bungie seems to want to limit hand cannons to nothing more than wall humping rat weapons, but that's just where we are for the moment. So, if you want a mid-range weapon that's good for aggressive play, use the BXR, a rapid fire pulse, or a 600 RPM auto rifle, they'll just serve you better for the time being. But for now, I will see you all in the next video. Peace, Guardians.